we've got new cards in master duel so i'm excited to check those out i'm excited to see what happens i haven't played a single game of master duel since tenpai has arrived so i don't know we're gonna find out how bad tenpai really is when you hop into master duel right i'm not gonna lie i haven't played a game of tenpai i've tested tenpai for ycs's but like i haven't actually played it at a tournament emery crafted two pydras yeah i saw that i've seen the picture it's it's insane okay let me let me just give me one royal at least so i feel better Oh. One in 10,000? Because it's 100 times 100? For you, 0%. For Emra, 100%. Facts. We have one Transcendent. That's all we need. We've got two Laras. We need one more. We need more Kaimans, more Pydras, and more Chandras. I'm not going to pay your credit more. I'm going to open these single packs and hope I can get one or two of those and then craft the rest. Thank you. The Pydra. All right. Pen Pie. Let me do the Emirate thing. Well, I'm washed. What can I say? Seems all right. Look what deck I'm giving up right now to play Tenpai. I can't believe it. Of course, you win these coin flips. There's not many rules in the universe, but one of those is if you start playing a going second deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, you will win the first coin flip. And you will open Shifter. My hand's kind of bad under Shifter. Is this how it is now? All right, then. How does this make you feel? It feels like I earned that one, to be honest. I like how I performed in that game. I flipped the coin really nicely. I clicked the right option, you know, I held my left mouse button down so that my toggle was on and then I shifted. So I feel like I earned it. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, God, of course, I lose the coin flip in my first mirror match. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. All right. Well, I have shifter again. I am the best. I mean, we still shift it, right? Right? Dude, my hand's crazy, by the way. Let them shift her. I guess I could have, yeah. Well, sick. All right, Magnamute my shifter. Sure, I guess. I mean, they have Kaiman. I mean, let them have Kaiman. I have Ash. I may be the best Tenpai player to have ever graced the face of the earth, and I just might not know yet. Understandable. Oh wait, they're based! Oh, never mind. Never mind. Why is there branded regained in your Dubel deck? You're gonna put back that Grave Skirmer to draw a card? Oh, they bricked Keg W. Bro, they opened Nightmare Throne, Cross Out, and a way to make Phantom immediately. In what world is that a brick? Hello? I would like to brick like that every time. What kind of combo is this? Why? Why? <laughs> Don't ask me. Well, I feel like we lost, guys. They still found a way to summon three Phantoms in one turn. I'm ill. Uh, droplet? This is why you not play hand trap version. Haha. Ha. You do sound like a Tenpai player. Alright, they're nice. We're getting a draw. I think we're cooked. We're cooked. Why set droplet? It's a quick play spell. If you want to use it on your opponent's turn, you have to set it. I don't want to set the imperms with it in case they have lightning storm or duster. And all it means is I have to use droplet first. I don't want to play Tenpai anymore. 
You're just drawing wrong? Okay. Am I doing it right now? Oh my, what the hell does this mean? Well, it sure feels the same as any other matchup when the minigame happens. Okay. Hello. Well, I mean... Normal summon Chandra. Battle phase. Attack. What's happening? Send a level 10 if you do negate the effects of all monsters. Okay. Attack! Uh, main phase 2. Phenomenal stuff. All right, I'll say it one more time. Battle phase. There's literally only one thing when you play Tenpai that you have to do, which is you have to click the button when it glows. And I couldn't even do that, dude. I don't know what I was thinking that was, but I right clicked so fast. Holy shit. Why did I right click, dude? I. Yeah, dude, come on. Punish me for this. Punish me. Okay, right click. Yes. Right click this one. Here. Yes. No. This. No. No. Okay. Attack. No. I'm excited. I've never done this. I never got this far. Well, technically, I was this far last turn, but we don't talk about last turn. Effect. We will ogre this. Uh, I can give them zero draws. Let's change Chandra to Synchro and Kaiman. Okay, they Ash Kaiman. Fine, they should still die, I think. I'm pretty sure they do. No. We summon Joe Biden. We activate Joe Biden's effect. And we want to bring back Hydra. No. Does this thing have a graveyard effect? No. Okay. Attack! I feel like I played that perfectly. You always chain Biden Reborn on attack declaration. Oh, shut up. Don't don't be smart like that. Like as if it makes a difference, dude. I had the level 10 out already. They couldn't do anything. Why, why would it matter? Why would I do that? Why am I going first? I'm ready for everything. Synchro 10 feels better. Are you watching the game right now? Or are you just so focused on yapping that you like ignore everything the yapping when i'm playing tenpai it almost feels worse than when i'm playing something like mikanko like it's crazy because the yapping is even more outrageous when it's tenpai because it's such a simple deck like hello all right we begin i'll activate it this time all right I think I'm the greatest Tenpai duelist. I keep losing the coin flips in the mirror and they keep sending me first and I keep still winning with just seals pass. How is this possible? Ah! You fool! 60 cards, dude. Discard your entire hand, then draw the same number. Okay. Bro had rollback. Void breach. Dude, okay, dude. Destroy all spell traps. Oh, 
they want to turn skip me. That's why. Okay. The thing is, if I gamma this, they can negate the gamma. But fine. Ah! Hello! Uh, but this is just an extra deck turn skip, right? Oh, hand deck or extra deck. Okay, that's annoying. Chain shifty. They did not negate it. Oh, unfortunate. Negate with what? Doesn't he need to tribute a monster? And what is this? What is this? A spell card? Alright. Well, that's Infernoids for you. After the new pack. Ain't that cool. I mean, they're on 4,000 as well. Bro, you didn't call by the grave my shifter? Alright then. Attack. The most exciting part about Tenpai is losing the coin flip and waiting to see if your opponent is also on Tenpai. Ah. Ah. You guys think we can kill over um, a set monster? We shall see. <laughs> you know what? I'll ash it just because I can. Just because I have it. Why not? Do you think we would have finished a Paleo game by now? We played eight games in like 35 minutes. Am I the best Tenpai player or what? I'm not gonna... No, I'm not. I'm not gonna Gamma a Thunder Dragon. I'm not gonna Gamma a Thunder Dragon. No way. Josh always draws Gamma. I always draw Driver. This is the first time I'm resolving Gamma and I've drawn Driver twice so far. What are you yapping about? Driver is my best friend. 2019 as deck, but their opener is pretty good. Synchro 10 puts Colossus to attack and Trident kills over it. I like when people make super generic statements without any explanation how to get to that position. If I draw Chandra, I think I still have it. I'm not sure. Oh, they're doing the nice thing. Okay. Yeah, I die anyways. Nice. Yeah, I died to this no matter what. Yeah, they played well. Thunder Dragon becoming more popular. I mean, they do have three Colossus now, which is they definitely need that. Like the only deck in the universe that needs multiple Colossus is Thunder Dragon and they really benefit from it. So it's nice for them. And like Colossus is annoying for Tenpai. I probably had a better line there. It's just I'm not super used to playing this deck yet. People joke about it, but you still need to know your stuff with Tenpai at least a little bit. And I don't yet. Labyrinth in this economy. Why would you not? Labyrinth is fine. It's good into Tenpai. Or like it's solid into Tenpai. It's not auto win, but it's like not bad. They're always going first and Labyrinth is one of the better decks at going first. How good is Red Reboot? I wouldn't play it. I, I think there's too many decks where it does nothing unless they draw Imperm specifically and set it. Okay, unfortunately, I have the suspicion that they have two Welcome Labyrinths face down, like big Welcome and regular, because otherwise I don't think they would have gone for regular Welcome Lab. I'm going to start with Sang and Summoning. Uh, and then I think I'll Normal Summon Genroku so that I can chain block both trap cards. Okay, there's the big Welcome, which I'll... Ash. Now they chain welcome. And I chain Genroku so that they can't get a lady set. Otherwise, they'll get like the barrier or something and screw me up. So this will just grab this. It's not one yet. It's definitely not one yet. Because they still have the rollback in the graveyard. Without the rollback, it would be game. Do not set. Do not set. Wait, why, why are they letting me? Well. Honestly, I get it though, because it's so easy to forget about Black Rose. Uh-oh. Ah, nice. Alright then. Uh 
So here's the thing. I'm genuinely considering gammaing the circular because I don't want them to have super factorial. Even if they can normal summon and still cook, I'm going to have ghost ogre because the trap card cooks me on my turn. No matter what else I have, like, that's fine. Surprisingly good matchup against Tenpai. Yeah, should ha it should have a good matchup against Tenpai. It really should. Unless Shifter, of course. That's the thing with a bunch of decks. Like, you can play a bunch of combo decks that are theoretically good into Tenpai because their boards are really good and hard to break. But, like, Tenpai at the end of the day is still going to have Shifter and Max C. Oh, what is that? Effect Veiler? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 don't summon it, don't do it, don't do it, don't parallel exceed, please, please just don't have it. You did this because you wanted another cybers, right? You didn't want the link arrow for parallel exceed. Okay. Splash Mage. There you go. I think we're ghost ogring Transco Talker, correct? Because that has to summon into the zone. Wait, they didn't even go through... The other stupid guy. Well, that doesn't narrow it down. I meant um, Link Decoder. Love that for me. What well, we like, aren't you missing one now because you didn't go for a Link Decoder? Okay. Yeah, draw before searching. Why not? I hope you draw your search target. Well, that's a problem. All right. Effect Veiler, Counter Trap. And that's it. All right. I guess. All right. What was Signet Conflict again? I mean, the thing is, I can't shift her. Right? If I shift her, I just can't really do anything. Conflict on Chandra is GG. Yeah, probably. But at the end of the day, they are a Math Mech Duelist. So I can do this in the battle phase, the Genroku effect. I don't have to do it now. Play around the effect, Veiler. They Veiler, Chandra. Uh, yeah. I lose if they do it right. If I just Genroku now and they negate it, I also lose. If I go Biden, they will definitely negate it. My only hope is they negate Shifter, I guess. Maybe they negate Shifter. Yeah. Now they conflict this or Pydra. Because what I'm thinking is maybe if I can get to the next turn and they're under shifter now and I have the Chandra still on the field, maybe they can't kill me through the Chandra. So like I'm trying to force this. Yeah, I'm trying to force the conflict and then just pass. I probably lose. But like, I think it's the best odds I have because at the end of the day, it's a math make player and you never know how much a math make player is going to mess up. Samurai Destroyer attacking Transcode would have been better. Samurai Destroyer... But then they keep the conflict is the problem. At least I think that's a problem. If I can't out the conflict, I'm just not going to have a win con next turn either, right? Could have chained Genroku to Shifter so he's in the graveyard for Fadra target. It hardly matters, but yeah. So they normal summoned and they can add circular, but they can't use it. I don't think Tenpai is too strong, if I'm honest with you guys. I think Tenpai is going to turn out fine. In terms of its win rate, I think people have an issue with how it's being played, though. Uh, that is... 8600. Okay. Alright. They figured out something. Wait, what? Why couldn't they attack twice? Eh? Access... Oh, it's not Earth. Oh, God, dude. I mean, I can't punish it, though. I can just attack this, right? Like, I'm not gonna, like, blow up in thousand pieces if I just attack the, the, the thingy. Okay, wonderful. Uh, do I go seals and bounce the access code? Or do I make striker into little knight? This is such a typical math mech game. Uh, do I use it immediately?
the math mech duelists will never cease to amaze me all right you guys that was my first npi gameplay experience i guess the deck is powerful it's sometimes more complicated than you think sometimes ex it's exactly as complicated as you'd expect we'll try more this upcoming week we'll also especially put a focus on which kind of decks can be good against Pi. even though so far i don't think it's like overly oppressive or overly popular even like you play against a couple of them but i mean i'm also still in, in diamond we're gonna make master tomorrow but yeah all right 